हेलो एवरीवन सो इन टूडेज लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द इवेल्युएशन इवेल्युएशन अप्रोच सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट आर व्हाट इट मींस सो इट इज़ अ न्यू कॉन्सेप्ट इन द डिसिप्लिन ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड इट इज रेवोल्यूशनाइज द प्रोसेस ऑफ इवेल्युएशन एजुकेशन ऑल्सो इट इम्फोसाइज ऑन रियलाइजिंग द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ एजुकेशन इन बिहेवियर टर्म्स सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिविटी एक्टिविटीज विच आर विच हैज टू बी then in this uh, rela- uh, evaluation process the first one is how far have the teaching objective has realized how far are the learning experience effective so the first one is how far the teaching objective what are the objectives of teaching has been taken into consideration and the second one is how far the learning experience effective and uh, which means that how far the students have learned the things which uh, which are taught to them the third one is what are the changes of behavior that have occurred in the students so these three are the activities which must be done in the evaluation process so according to bs bloom education is tripolar process so it uh, it must be having these three types of objectives the first one is teaching objective change of behavior and learning experience so the, these are also interlinked with each other and it is a known as tripolar process so what are the steps in evaluation approach there are three steps which is used in evaluation approach the first one is education objective learning experience and change of behavior so this, uh, this is just according to this uh, tripolar process and these above steps are closely related to each other and performed in a sequence so teaching and te- uh, testing are objective centers and failure of the students is due to the inappropriateness of learning experience of teaching so um, if a if a teacher does not gives uh, give his full 100% and uh, which which lead to uh, lead to the students failure this is a very bad thing and it changes uh, change of behavior are evaluated in terms of teaching objectives so in case of this evaluation the ch- uh, behavioral change is uh, uh, evaluated school subjects are taught for providing learning experience so rather you go to some higher studies there are also some uh, some subjects are there uh, which you have to study because it uh, teaches us uh, to uh, the learning experience the basic learning experience so these are the um, we can say that classification of teaching objective learning experience and change of behavior so the first one is knowledge objective here <coughs> here in case of uh, learning experience lecture or question answer method home assignment and study can be done and in this change of behavior this uh, this will result to oral test written test and observation the second one is skill objective and in the learning experience we uh, we learn demonstration practical work reading writing speaking and performance and the change of behavior which a uh, student or scholar will get the observation and practical test the next one is knowledge which is a application objective and discussion on some problem use of understand cause effect and it will change the behavior like written test or oral test after that interest attitude value objective these are the teaching objectives and the learning experiences are linking with uh, life situation life adjustment lecture question and answer and the uh, behavioral changes rating inventory observation so these are the things which is uh, which were there in the evaluation process and there are techniques of evaluation the first one is observation anecdotal record inventories of personality traits questionnaires rating scales interviews contact with parents so these are the things or we can say that these are the techniques which we will be using in our research purpose during evaluation of any result also we have autobiographical records case studies which is known as case history sociometric uh, techniques projective techniques tests of various kinds and cumulative records so uh, let's classify the evaluation test your kaya and simpson gives Uh, give the following classification of evaluation test according to different criteria so according to some uh, criteria we have uh, taken uh, m- m- many types of classification so classification according to form 
तो इवेल्युएशन टेस्ट इट कैन बी ऑफ ओरल एग्जामिनेशन और रिटर्न एग्जामिनेशन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द पर्पस सो फर्स्ट वन वॉज अकॉर्डिंग टू फॉर्म एंड द सेकेंड वन इज अकॉर्डिंग टू पर्पस सो इन दिस एजुकेशन टेस्ट मस्ट बी प्रोग्नोस्टिक एक्यूरेसी डायग्नोस्टिक क्वालिटी पावर रेंज एंड स्पीड सो अकॉर्डिंग टू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एजुकेशन टेस्ट मस्ट बी अ टाइप ऑफ एस ए और अ टाइप ऑफ ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू पीरियड और टाइम ऑफ एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग द एजुकेशन टेस्ट मस्ट बी डेली इट कैन बी ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डेली बेसिस वीकली मंथली विद इन अ टर्म और इन अ स्पैन ऑफ ईयर सो अकॉर्डिंग टू द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ एनी टेस्ट इट कैन बी अ शॉर्ट टेस्ट और अ लॉन्ग टेस्ट एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू मेथड ऑफ स्कोरिंग एंड एजुकेशन टेस्ट मस्ट बी नॉन स्टैंडर्डाइज और स्टैंडर्डाइज ऑल्सो अकॉर्डिंग टू एबिलिटीज इन्वॉल्व द एजुकेशन टेस्ट कैन बी क्लासीफाइड अकॉर्डिंग टू स्पीड जजमेंट रिटेंशन एप्रिसिएशन कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव and organization so these are the things uh, according to which the ability is uh, according to which the education test is involved <clears throat> according to nature of material included education test can be arithmetic language writing reading spelling and according to mental functions uh, the education test can be associative or association writing memory recall recognition and at the last according to types of response involved any education test can be classified in this hierarchical form there can be two one that is alternative response and multiple response so in alternative response we can classify them as true false yes no plus minus negative positive and in terms of multiple response we can say that we can have best answer correct answer or completion matching uh, essay identification and enumeration so educational purpose of any uh, evaluation let's see that what are the educational purpose of evaluation so eval evaluation should be conceived primarily in terms of educational purpose which the program of supervision is intended to serve so there are uh, such, uh, some points so the first one is to st stimulate teacher to improve their techniques of classroom instruction the second one is to determine which the people pupils are really deriving greater educational values from the enriched and vitalized programs the third one is to assess in various ways the degree of improvement in personal and professional attitude in human relations and ultimately therefore in efficiency of teaching and learning so it is used to improve the skills of teaching and learning and the last one is it is used to promote greater educational attention to individual uh, which the pupils need so let's see the objectives of evaluation so it is to appraise the status of a changes in pupils behavior to disclose pupils need and uh, possibilities and to aid pupil that is the uh, teacher planning and to expand the concept of worthwhile goals beyond pure achievement it is also used to serve as a means of improving school community relation to familiarize the teacher with the nature of pupil uh, learning development and progress to relate measurement to the goal of instructional program to facilitate the selection and improvement of measuring instrument to appraise the teacher's competence to appraise the supervisor's competence to serve as a method of improvement and the last one is it is used to serve a guiding principle for the selection of supervisory techniques so these are the objectives of evaluation which uh, we have done and there are difference between evaluation and measurement so we can see that uh, the, on the left hand side we have evaluation and the right hand side we have measurement so it is new concept old concept technical term simple word qualitative quantitative scope of wider uh, narrow also we have this evaluation measurement more points so these are the difference thank you and we will start mean median mode in our next lecture thank you